Creatine. We've got a video about it. Yep. Building muscle. Okay. Is that only thing it's good for, building muscle? I'd say not. We saw, we saw there's some benefits maybe for cognitive function as we get older, but yeah, I suspect you're going to talk about something else. Yeah. I'm Dr. Paul Zalzo. I'm Dr. Brad Weening. Welcome to Talk With Docs. This is Journal Club. Okay. Journal Club is where we take one of the more recent articles in the scientific literature, yep. read it, break it down, share you the results. If you have any thoughts on creatine, leave a comment. Okay. So this article is called Efficacy and Safety Profile of Oral Creatine Monohydrate in Add-on to Cognitive Behavioral Therapy in Depression. <gasps> okay. An eight-week pilot, double-blinded, randomized, placebo-controlled feasibility and exploratory trial in an under-resourced area. Wow. Such a long title. That is a Why long title. Stephen King used the title what, It for one of his books. I know. It's a lot shorter than European this. Neuropsychopharmacology? European Neuropsychopharmacology. Okay. All right. So. So it's a study. Yeah. Pilot it's study. A, it's a pilot study. Okay? okay. So this isn't a definitive proof of anything, but it's a study that you do to say, hey, is there a signal here? Is there something here that we can explore further? Okay. Let's talk about what we like about the study. I like the fact that it's double-blinded, placebo-controlled, randomized. The product. highest quality study that exists. I like that. I like okay. the fact that it's not just one intervention. It's an intervention with another intervention that's Such common. a proven intervention, yeah. yeah. Cognitive behavioral therapy yep. works for depression. That's proven. And now we're trying an adjunct, an add-on to it. So we added creatine and we added a normal dose, so five gram dose. Five Once grams a day, a day. Creatine monohydrate, the most common one that people take. Yes. Okay. And it's added to cognitive behavioral therapy that's done every two weeks. Okay. And it was done, I think, over an eight week period, this study. Right. If I'm correct. Yep. So they looked at baseline levels of depression using a standardized, validated measure of depression questionnaire. Yes. Then they broke the, the study participants into two groups. One group got cognitive behavioral therapy and five milligrams of creatine every day. Yep. Cognitive behavioral therapy every two weeks. The other group got a placebo yes. pill and a the cognitive behavioral therapy as well. And the groups had the same amount of average depression, obviously, to make yeah. them equal. That's the randomization process. Yes, so okay. they started with, it, they, the, both groups had a similar level, yeah. and then they measured the levels of depression using a standardized questionnaire to measure depression and saw which one reduced depression more. Okay, so at the end. At the end of the day, the, answer? the group that got creatine and the cognitive behavioral therapy had their depression reduced significantly, clinically, and statistically significantly more than the group that got the placebo Okay. and the behavior therapy. Okay, so first, that's very interesting, ah, right? You I think something so. simple, cheap, yeah, safe, easy. affordable, yeah. makes a difference. Plus you might get some bigger biceps. Right, okay. Did they surmise why they thought creatine would possibly make this better? Well, we know that creatine plays a crucial pathway in the energy metabolism in our body. Yes. Okay. So they hypothesized that it was that sort of energy metabolism in the brain that was enabling the cognitive behavioral therapy to have more of an effect. Okay. Something like that. Yep. That's a sort of simple explanation because I'm not a neuro psychopharmacist. Yeah. Right? Okay. I'm not neuro, I'm not psycho, I'm not a pharmacist. But I kind of simplified it to that's what I that's what I took home, how they think it works. Right. Okay, so what are some of the shortcomings of the say? Why do we say, well, listen, everyone should just start, every person that's depressed should just start taking creatine. Why would we not say that? Well, first of all, because the purpose of the study was not to change practice. The purpose of the study was to inform another study because okay. it's a pilot study. Right. So we can't really change our practices based on this. And this is common in science where you do kind of like a smaller version, say, is there anything yeah. there? And you say, hey, look, there may be something there. So yeah. then before you invest a lot of money and a lot of yeah. time and resources to it, now you say, well, it looks like there may be something there. Let's take it a little further. It's like window shopping. You're you're walking in the mall, you're looking in the window, hey, that looks good, I'll yeah, go in. I'm gonna go in the store. So if you look in the window, there's nothing good, you don't go in the store. They looked in the window with this, looks good, we're gonna go in the store and do a bigger study. With online shopping, that doesn't really happen as much anymore. You just mm, buy it and return point. it. Yeah. Which is, I think, a, it's a bad problem, really. Yeah. Anyway, there's no real, an we digress. There's no online shopping analogy for this one. No. Okay, that's one, that's one thing, not a limitation, but one thing to understand yeah. before you take this as gold fact now. The other thing is the study was 100 people. Yep, smallish. Dropout rate was about okay. 40. Yeah, 40%, equal on both sides, I like that part, but yes, of the 100 people that started, only 60 or 30 in each group made it to the end. So you think, what if 20 
in the treatment group, they all didn't have an effect. And what if the other 20 in the non-treatment group had a positive effect? You actually could totally change the results. And that's what statistical analysis helps us do. Yeah. But because the numbers are equal, the odds of that happening are actually very low. So. Yeah, true. So, so the, that's another limitation, though. Yeah. Um, and I, I would say, you know, the other limitation is it was kind of, it wasn't a multi-center, multi-ethnic study. This right. was done in one population in India. Homogeneous population. Yeah, it wasn't that. So this, so, but this does inform other researchers to say, hey, let's do a multi-center study to see if this is actually going to hold true with a larger study, with a larger sample size through greater ethnic diversity. Okay, so bigger picture then. If you have a friend or family member who has yeah. been suffering from depression or living yeah. with depression yeah. and is doing therapy and says to you, listen, read this article, it's a pilot study, yeah. I might start taking some creatine, what are you going to tell them? I'd get, I would give them a summary of the article, say this is what it showed. Just like this, I'd say, hey, watch this video. Okay, no, that, 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 they're what, like, Paul, should I don't, take give it? Me, don't give me the caged answer, don't, yeah. try, don't hedge your bets, don't try to cover your backside. Yeah. Should you take it? I'd say try it. Yes, and I would probably say the same, not necessarily for this part, but it might help that, but because it has a lot of other good yeah. things uh, yeah. related to it. Yeah, right? I, I would, there would be other things I'd say too. I'd yeah. say exercise too, try exercise. Sure. Yeah, exercise prescription is something we don't do enough, but no. you know, it, because we have seen that exercise does treat yeah, depression 100%. effectively, yeah. uh, as effectively as medications in some studies. Yeah. So definitely have to exercise, and if you're gonna exercise and take creatine, it's just gonna make your exercise okay. outcomes better. We've made a video about creatine and muscle in the past. Link down below. That's a journal club, there that's the journal. Take it, leave it, leave a comment, let us know what you think about it. I know, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel, send it to someone that you think maybe would benefit from creatine or is interested in that, and check out our podcast. And we'll leave a link to the study, the description, in case you wanna take a deeper dive. There you go. Remember. You are in charge of your own health. We'll see you next time.